So I'm out here in the orchard today and we're going to collect cyan wood. That's the grafting material off of this tree. So we get a copy of the same tree. Um, this, it's late February today. This is kind of the time frame. The wood has to still be dormant to do this grafting properly. So in Iowa here we do it uh, February, March, sometimes into April. Um, the critical part is you have to have a few weeks for the graft union to heal a little bit before you plant it out in the garden and that's going to be around your frost free date so you can work back from there. Okay I'm standing here in an, a rather old tree and I want to show you some different uh, parts of the tree. If you look up here I've got a stem that is an old it's old growth, it's, there's flower buds all over it, and there's very little new growth. We have to do our grafting with young, new growth. So there's nothing on this branch that would help us. Now, on an old tree like this, I often look back in the middle of it, and here I find a shoot that's vigorous and upright. Some people call them sucker shoots or water shoots. Um, this one actually has a couple years growth on it. Um, and I'll show you that. It, it was, it came from this part of the tree. Here's actually three-year-old wood. It's got spurs on it and those hold flower buds and we do not want our new graft to sprout out with flowers. We want leaves. Here's another section of new growth from the, from last year. Well, it's be from two years ago. And now here, well, I'm going to take this off. Right here is last year's terminal bud scar and this shoot came out last summer and that's what we want it's brighter red sometimes they're yellowish but often reddish um, it's smooth kind of glossy and out toward the tip a little bit fuzzy growth um, so that's what i'm looking for now, the size of the wood I want is determined a little bit by the rootstock I'm going to put this on, and it's really wonderful to match the diameter of your rootstock with the diameter of the cyan wood. You can use cyan wood that's smaller than your rootstock, but you can't use cyan wood that's larger than your rootstock. For this workshop coming up, you're going to have rootstocks that are measured at a quarter inch. So I'm going to take this whole cutting here and I can use, I can make a new tree out of every oh, two inch section of this, but just so I can store it easily I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to put these in a plastic bag wrapped in damp not wet, but damp paper towel. And I can store this in the refrigerator um, anywhere a few degrees above free freezing, you know, like 34 to 42, something like that is wonderful for it. And I can store it for, for weeks that way.